Today, we're playing with a chainsaw winch. It's gonna be a fun one. So I picked this up from an estate auction about a year ago, and it's been sitting in the need to be fixed pile. Um, I have no history on it, just by looking at it real fast. I have a couple little issues that needed to be addressed. Um, first, I did remove, there was a little, it's actually not plastic, it's actually fiberglass. Fiberglass cover that was over there that I removed. And in doing so, you could see, in here, the most obvious and glaring thing to me was I'm missing a chain that goes from here to here. Um, it appears, I mean, the way this works, uh, there is a break. So this is a break, and then the drum just free spools. And we lock the brake back on so it doesn't... You unlock the brake and it just... All the cable just wants to jump right off. But you have the chainsaw and it'll have a little clutch in there. It looks like they use just a standard chainsaw chain clutch. And when you rev it high enough, it'll spin this chain, which just spins this gearbox that I did the math on and it looks like it's a 53 to 1 gear reduction. And then that'll... So every time this spins 53 times, this will spin one time. And then that will further gear reduction down to this. And the way this engages, so I don't know if you can see in there, there's a bunch of holes all the way around. And you just have a simple um, little spring pin that just falls in a million different little spots anywhere along there to engage, to lock everything together. So I'm missing the chain from here to here. Uh, looking at this sprocket, and actually looking at the gearbox, it looks like it's been removed and repainted. Because this uh, there's this gear right here looks brand new. But this gear doesn't look new, and this gear in here doesn't look new. So I'm thinking that this gear either broke or just was so worn. So this was taken out of service just to replace this gear. But they already did the work for me. So it's just a matter of that. Um, besides that, this is a Homelite XL. This was not a high-end chainsaw in its day. Um, just a cheesy, cheapo thing. Other than, it's probably, being on this in this sort of situation, it probably has extremely low hours. But I did notice that the air filter is missing. So I'm thinking that there's probably a little bit of an engine issue just from sitting for so long. To me, it looks like it's been sitting at least 10, 15 years. At least. And so we'll just remove these two bolts. Screws. Looks like we have a flathead and a Phillips for security. There it goes, it slid up. And there was no brand naming or anything on it. I actually had to look up quite a few pictures to find out it's what's called a Cobra Wench. It was a brand name. Some nice ethanol free. One of the nice things about finding old machinery that hasn't been run in a long time is this thing has probably never had to taste the nastiness of ethanol. And so there's a chance this chainsaw, there's a chance that it'll just fire up and run. We'll have no issues. We'll top it all the way up. We can check for spark, but we're just gonna go for it. And we'll give her some pulls. Take off choke, about half choke. Gas cap does not seal. She's a good runner. She was set a little high. The RPM was set just a little high. I kicked it down.
there's the little teeny guy. There's the carburetor without an air filter on it. Let's shut the choke. And what I use, I use, um, I make a lot of my own air filters for vintage machinery like this. And what I like to use is actually uh, the foam from like Foam Fingers. This one just happens to be a, a foam guitar. And this makes actually amazing air filter stuff. It's the same foam they use for that. And so I can actually, you know, if I can pattern that out, I'll just cut it out and jam it in there. There we go. Doesn't look super pretty, but it's completely functional. You're gonna add a wedge in there and be a good air filter. So let's get in here and inspect the clutch. That one's very tight. The sprocket. Take the whole thing off? Yeah. The thickness on this looks fine, but we've been over greased. So somebody's greased the uh, little roller needle bearings in there too much and grease is all over. Well, I guess it could be from the chain as well. Just greasing the chain, just flinging everywhere. This clutch is definitely gonna slip with this much oil on it. link right there the way I do chain I've always done it the same way I do have tools to do it to break it but I like doing it in a vise I open up the jaw barely wider so the pin can slide down in I'll take a bigger punch just to hammer it down so it's flush and then I'll take another sm a smaller punch to punch it through so because the initial whack is a little bit harder than the, the subsequent ones. There we go. It's level. I can get this, the punch that fits will fit through it. Oh, everything's greased up good. Okay, we've got this tensioned. Now it's a matter of just tensioning the motor to tension this secondary chain. I so just hold it up. We lucked out on the engine, mainly because no air, no uh, ethanol fuel. Got that little air filter just jammed in there, just kind of wedges in there. I'm sure there's some sort of plastic cover that covers this whole thing right in here that is no longer existent. Probably off of eBay to find that. Fire it up, turn it on choke. Half choke. Not all my fuel. Oh, it's flooded now. Oh, I don't have a spark plug in it. <laughs> That's well, there's your problem. Spark plug installed. Take two. Um, cylinder's probably full of gas now.
I got a chain to the back of my truck. So we'll pull out some slack. We'll do a double pull with the um, with the snatch block. Take off the brake. So with the double pull, we should be able to pull about 4,000 pounds. So I'll hook the main hook back on it. And we should be able to pull this out. And we'll hook it to the car down here. Come down here. And we still got a lot of stuff on here. We still got a lot of cable left. I guess that's fine. We will the brakes off. I guess we'll start it up. Pretty fun little tool. I think it'll come in handy. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. See you. Bye. What's the matter? Yeah. The ball went under the welder? Timmy fell down the well? Get it! How far under there is it? What's wrong with this ball right here? That's not the same. You can't, you can't leave a man behind. Oh, well, let's see if we can we can pull out the welder. Oh, there it is. Life can resume. But what about this ball now? Now you don't care. Well, no, that ball's better. That ball tastes better. Hmm.